Yeah. Woo! Man, this frying pan's heavier than it looks. Oh, it smells incredible. This is like So this is a micro lot yoga chuff that are a scapegoat. It's a beautiful coffee that we're all going to be able to have some coffee today. You can already see it browning up. Now, a frying pan's not the best. But you gotta have agitation, which I'm making. You gotta have airflow, and you gotta have heat. Typically, you'll have a barrel, so I've gotta create that same barrel circumstance to flip it. Yeah. This frying pan's heavier than it looks, to be honest with you. Yeah. Now, we're starting to get to the point where I'm actually roasting the coffee. It's, you know, making coffee this way is always, it's not really a party favor or a party trick. It's more of showing people that after you've roasted a few million pounds, you can kind of get the gist of what's happening and understand how the bean is interacting with heat and agitation. Can you hear that? Yeah, hear that? It's an audible first crack. Oh, it smells incredible. Now what we're hearing is second crack on some of these. So now we're getting really dark. So we're just about ready to pull. Let's throw this coffee in some place that we can let it cool off. Typically what you'll have in a roaster is what's called a cooling tray. And that cooling tray will be pulling the smoke and the heat away from the coffee beans after you've actually roasted it. So this is my improvised cooling tray. This is roughly, it's about 35 grams of coffee. That's a good one. Now we gotta see if we're gonna be happy with the results. You wanna try this with me? Mmm. Boy, that is different. It's got a fruity smell, but when you taste it, you can taste the skillet. It's a great cup of coffee. Either way, either way you cut it, it's a great cup of coffee. It's it's a lot different. You can taste the fire, you can taste the wood, you can taste remnants of the, the yurga chaff. You know, just the process is cool. So that's, that's, that's like, for me, that's, that's the process of enjoying a great cup of coffee. Finding these really cool experiences, getting out here with your buddies, making great coffee. It just, it makes great experiences even that much better. So, cheers.